This series is the As an Adult series. Behind the scenes of a work day with my family. What are we filming today, y'all? A video! Oh my gosh. Yeah, I can. Oh. Okay, I just had the most genius idea. I wanted to kind of take you on a little joy ride into my brain basically in today's video. Lately, I have gotten so much more ADHD. I posted a reel a long time ago. It was like the, you know the reel sound when it was like, um, like you punch something really like, uh, or then boom. So I put in there like, spread, like I don't remember what the first one was, but then the second one was ADHD. And a lot of you guys are like, oh my gosh, like you've been diagnosed with ADHD. You like have been tested for ADHD. I have not. I've actually been meaning to. I was supposed to do that when I was back at college because I was struggling so much, but I never did. And so when I tell you guys this, it's obviously not a clinical thing. It is not something that I have gotten tested, etc., etc. Oh no. I do have a lot of symptoms and tend tendencies of ADHD, and that is why I'm filming this. So anyways, this video is basically me taking you guys into what it's like living with ADHD, basically. Now, please don't get offended if I'm like saying this, and even though I don't have, I'm not like prescribed it, right? But like, I mean, if you guys have been watching my videos for long enough, and especially in the last like seven months, you'll notice I, first of all, get distracted extremely easily. I literally have this air pod thingy on my hand right now because I was like I saw it and I immediately started focusing on it and like it caught my attention while I'm literally filming right now I have to be doing something with my hands I have a very very short attention span I know that I could definitely work on it and I have been lately so that's kind of what I'm doing now is showing you guys like how I cope with it and stuff but man is it a struggle for starters, lately I have been working super hard. I've been studying Portuguese a lot. I have been getting lots of videos out and it has been the biggest struggle for me because I can't, I can't focus for very long, right? I literally, just barely, this is what actually gave me the idea. I'm not even kidding. I was right here writing down all my video ideas as well as the footage I need to film. And so I was writing it down. And while I'm literally writing it down, I had the idea, oh my gosh, I have a good video idea. I need to just start the camera. Or I was like writing and I was like, oh my gosh, I haven't cleaned the kitchen. I need to go clean the kitchen, but I haven't finished this task. I jump between tasks and I get like maybe 85% done. That's why I've been struggling with Portuguese because I'll do it for a little bit and then I get bored or I get distracted and I just stop. And it's not long enough for me to actually retain any of the information and I'm not focusing enough to retain the information. So it's been a struggle. And yesterday I actually was like getting super stir crazy because I was just going through the motions and doing the same thing over and over again. I became super stir crazy that I literally started writing in my my like Google Docs basically. I just started writing and I have like three pages of random stuff. In my journal as well as on my Google Docs, I basically, it's like writing this ins inspirational quotes type of stuff. It's not quotes, but it's just in inspirational like paragraphs, like my piece and my take on like mental health or my take on how, how to overcome something I'm working on or my goals. I basically just write and it's so sporadic. It jumps in between and like, it looks like this, right? I'll write my tasks down. I'll write my to-do list, but there is no way in heck that they're getting done in order. And I will just start 10 minutes of this and then I'll start this one and then this one starts and then I actually finish this one and then this one actually gets finished, but then this one stays here. So I start two more tasks. It's insane. That's that. Let's get started on today's video. Sorry for the long intro. Okay, I am starting out with just writing down all these tasks that I need to do. Like I had just said, I love writing down to-do lists and I love making sure I have a list of things because that's the only way I'll actually get stuff done and I'll remember what I need to do. So basically I am filling out a bunch of the clips that I need to get done right now. Today I go off of a weekly checklist. So I have the week's videos that I need to film and the week 
the big tasks that need to be done in the week so that I can remember that and then each day I go off of that and I write down a more personalized to-do list of how to how to get those things done and if I need to I'll even go lower than that and do like one video like hour by hour the task I need to do so I actually my phone if we look at my phone it is chuck full of all of my notes and 90, oh wow, I didn't realize how long that was. 90% of these are my to-do lists. They are little thoughts and ideas that I get randomly in the day, or they are the to-do lists. If my day-long to-do list is too long, I'll go off of like hours, certain hours, or like if I have three videos to film that day, I will do, okay, this video, this is what we need to get done, and then I'll do it. If it's one of those videos, usually they're vlog videos, so it's pretty fine, but I'll write down the different tasks I need to get done or the things my mom needs me to do, just hour by hour, two, three hours, depending on how many tasks there are. I don't wanna like tell you guys like and recommend recommend checklists because everyone's different. I know so many people that like checklists are just not their thing. If checklists and to-do lists and schedules is something you guys really love, I 10 out of 10 recommend this. If you find yourself like always getting sporadic and forgetting what you're doing or not focusing super well, write down a checklist so that you can, and keep it in an area that you will always be or are around like where you forget the most. Like I work a lot right here on this desk and so I keep this on my desk. It's also where I like come in and out of the room so it's always right here so I can remember. This is something that's really helping me right now. I have a couple different tasks to do. I have a couple more videos that I need to be doing so I'm just writing out the shot list for that basically. Not the shot list but a couple things that I wanna make sure I say. So far we're doing good. We're staying intact, but I'm starting to get a little distracted. Like my room's super messy, kitchen's really messy, so you'll probably see me taking a little break and going and doing that. And I'm already bored, so we're gonna clean. Cleaning has always been something that keeps me super grounded because I always, I feel like I need to be doing things with my hands all the time. My dad, when he would have a lot of like crazy energy and be super like all over the place, or if like he was in trouble, I think, my grandma, my tutu, that's what we call her, she would have him do origami. For me, I have found that writing stuff, like I told you, and cleaning really, really, really helps me. We don't tell my parents that because then they'll have me clean all the time. Just kidding, I actually really enjoy cleaning. And the kitchen is actually one of my favorites. So I'm basically gonna just start with cleaning up the dishes. I put them all in here. that I have tutoring tomorrow and I really need to have some sections studied which I haven't done yet because I procrastinated I'm sorry so I'm going to try really really hard to sit down I want to make sure all the tasks that are going to distract me and make me not want to end up doing this are done I'm also going to turn my phone on like silent mode so I don't see any notifications because that can that can really distract me so I don't need to do any of these things right now so we're gonna focus <laughs> on Portuguese. Um, actually, I'm gonna make my bed because my bed would drive me nuts if it wasn't done, so. If you notice, if you like go start going back in some of my videos, you'll see how I'll literally be talking about something and I'll be like, um, what was I talking about? Or I'll be like, um, I just got distracted. I just forget what's going on. And I think for me personally with ADHD, I can definitely work on um, controlling it. Right now, there's only a certain extent that you can because my dad is, ADHD as well, and so he can only control it to a certain extent. Like, it's just part of who you are. 
and you gotta live with that. However, I do definitely believe that I can control as much as I can instead of letting it completely control me, right? I can control it more than it can control me. And so I try to find, like I had said, those coping mechanisms that really help with it. And so that, so that I can still go about my day without having it take over everything and make it so that I am not efficient, right? That's basically what therapists are gonna do is help you learn how to cope with it. Cause a lot of these things aren't curable. It's just like in your programming basically. We're gonna do some studying now. chanting like oh. weird words and like it's this like three ways there's like three words that that can help with this this that hell ding ha this this that ding ha this this that hell ding 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 ding ha this is helping me remember I'm gonna make you tired her lost culture lunch dinner break hello you guys it's the next day Okay, so I came and sat here to get some work done, to do a little organizing, you know. Look at all these cards that I put now. I've been really struggling to actually figure them out and like actually study and remember and understand what is being said, but I'm getting so frustrated to the point that I just don't want to do it and I've been procrastinating because I'm so frustrated because I'm just like, okay, well, I'm not going to be able to get it anyway, so screw that, you know what I mean? I figured I'd just come on here and update you guys a little bit. Show you guys my work day and me really struggling with my OCD to try and get this correct. There we go. I did it. Now it's smallest to biggest. Alright you guys, it is the end of the day. It's been a hectic couple of days, but I hope you guys enjoyed kind of a glimpse into what it looks like with what I do, what I struggle with basically. I want it to be a little more personal with you guys because I have my struggles. You guys are always asking, how do you stay so happy? Or what do you do to like cope with this? Or things like that. Like a lot of you guys, I guess don't realize because I never show you that I struggle too. I'm a human being just like you and we are all just trying to play this game we call life and keep going and just make it the best we can. And so this is basically how I make it the best that I can and how I just deal with things, you know? It's definitely hard, but I really, really enjoy, I really enjoy what I do. I enjoy what I've been given, right? I think that ADHD or these these other things that can be mental health struggles can have their benefits. If you can control them though in, in a good and healthy way, I don't wanna say that in like an offensive bad way. Like I don't wanna try and offend anyone in any way, but basically what I'm, how I'm meaning that, I have found, positives to being more ADHD, right? I am constantly able to go, 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 you know? I have the energy to just get things done and get, sometimes I have a good creative mind to start all these new ideas, right? I can start these new ideas and have the energy and just the excitement to do them. Now I just need to gain the drive for them, obviously, and to finish them. Finishing them and not forgetting is what I'm working towards, but Again, we're all just humans. We're all making our mistakes. I have struggles just like you have struggles. I just want to show you guys that like, we can all relate to each other, you know? And just be there to say to you guys that it's gonna be okay. And you know what? Sometimes we just gotta make do with what we got and make it the best that it can be. So, I love you guys. You guys are amazing. Keep on being you and being amazing. I'll see you guys next week.